This is insane. Nobody has done five fist traps. I can get to this one. And I think that... That thing is so orange. I don't know what's going on. This looks like a hybrid of some sort. Oh my God, look, he's going in his home already. BFB Nation, welcome back to another awesome video, guys, today. I don't know what we're gonna catch. I don't know how many fish we're gonna catch, but I can predict that we're gonna catch a lot of fish and a lot of variety, because we're doing something we've never done on the channel before, and that is placing all my fish traps in one spot at the same time and seeing how many fish we can catch, see all the different species. This is gonna be pretty crazy. You guys have wanted me to do this for a long time. I've gone through a lot of fish traps. Like, if I did this video, like, a month ago, I would have, like, 10 traps, but right now I only have five, because Lots of them break from turtles and all that. But we got five different fish traps in the bed of my truck. We have three different baits we're gonna be using. We're using shrimp, cat food, and bread. This is like a Hail Mary, dude. We're using everything we can to catch whatever we can here in the tiny creek behind me. If you guys have never seen one of my videos before, this is one of my favorite spots that we have found that holds a lot of really cool aquarium fish here in South Florida. Most of them invasive, not native. A little rundown, we've caught a lot of African cichlids like bumblebees, Eastern happies. We've caught jewel cichlids. We've caught convict cichlids. What else? Uh, Vieja cichlids. I think I'm missing something. We've caught a lot of really awesome fish here, guys. Oh my God, Mabunas too. Last video we did here, we caught two giant male Mabunas. Literally every time I come here, I'm catching something new, something I've never seen or caught before. Super tiny creek, very shallow. You can't really see in the water right now because the, uh, the shade, there's lots of shade going on. It's later in the day. Let's go to the bed of the truck, guys. I'm gonna show you all the fish traps we're gonna be using today. We're gonna bait them up, toss them in the water. I'm definitely gonna spread them out. So one's probably going in that hidden tunnel and then the rest we're gonna spread down the tiny creek let's freaking do it guys go down there smash the like button on this video this is gonna be a lot of work a lot of time and effort putting into this five traps at once that's a lot so let's get started let me show them off to you guys we got the green trap here this one this one's not my favorite but we're gonna use it anyways you know maybe it'll get lucky and catch something cool we got two of our new ones these are definitely my favorite traps so far Look at these traps, dude. These are the best traps you can ever get. We got two of those we're gonna be using today. And then we have two metal traps, one black one, one silver one. For bait, we got a little bit of cat food, a little bit of bread, and a little bit of shrimp, guys. We're going all in. It's like I'm using all my resources possible today to catch these fish. It's also sort of like an experiment. Which trap is best? Which bait is best? So I have a feeling we're gonna learn a lot today. Let's start baiting up the traps. Um, I'm not sure which bait I'm gonna use for which trap. We're just gonna kind of randomize it. For these good traps, I kind of want to throw in the shrimp because, you know, shrimp's probably the smelliest bait we have. And I don't use shrimp all that often, so I'm kind of curious to see if it will work good or not. Shrimp's going in. Three pieces. There we go. First trap is baited up. Let's go. Four to go. Let's use cat food for the other trap so we can kind of see, like, which bait is better because they're the same trap, so let's use different bait for each one. There we go. There we go. All right, for the green trap, let's use bread. We haven't used bread yet, so let's get two slices, toss it in there, just like that. I think I'll use bread with these, I guess. We have some shrimp left over too. We'll throw shrimp in it as well. There goes some shrimp. We're gonna catch so many fish. I have a cooler, by the way, guys. We're throwing everything we catch into the cooler so at the end of the day, we can see how many fish we actually caught. Ladies and gentlemen, all five traps are bedded up. Let's head down to the little canal, tiny creek, Let's freaking place these things, dude. I am so excited to see how many fish we catch today. All right, since I can't carry all five traps at once, obviously, we're gonna do two at a time. We got the first two. Since these are probably like the best traps, let's place them in the best spots in front of the pipe. Of course, that's that's the juicy spot, dude. The fish love the pipes. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I just saw, there's there's a school of little convicts right there. I'm gonna try and place it. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, that's creepy, dude. I, I hear my echo in there. I'm like, who is in the tunnel? <laughs> Here we go. I kind of want to space them out a little bit. Um, I'm just going to randomize this one. Just just throw it. There we go. It don't really matter. I mean, especially with the shrimp. The shrimp is very smelly, so they'll smell it for sure. All right, there we go. Good placement. It's upright. And the fish are congregating. The fish are congregating right now. I think the shrimp is a hit already. There's like a whole school of fish going straight towards it. Um, I see a lot of peacock bass, actually, too. 
Um, maybe we'll catch peacock bass in the one with the shrimp because they will eat shrimp. First two traps are set, guys. Let's get the rest. Final three going in. There's no string or line attached to this. So how am I gonna get it? Oh God, what have I done, dude? I'm gonna have to go in for this. I just remembered, how, how am I supposed to get this? I have a fishing rod in my car. I guess what I'll have to do is I'll just have to snag it with my rod. Let's throw one right down here. Ugh! And I'm never seeing that trap again. <laughs> All right, third trap is set. That's actually a good spot for it. Yeah guys, let's hope I can get these traps back with my rod. If not, they're gonna be in there for a while. Let's throw the green one down there. All right, that worked. And there it goes. Uh, let's hope I can remember where this is. Let's just throw this one right down there. <laughs> I really need line attached to these things. Okay, we can see it. Five fish traps in one tiny creek, dude. Spanning from right there to there. Dude, we are going to catch every single fish in this area. This is gonna be insane. We'll be back later in the day before it gets dark. And we're gonna check all the traps, see what we get. I'm really hoping for Mabunas. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. Let's hope we get ourselves some really cool fish. Oh my gosh, another one. Okay guys, the time has finally come. It's been actually like three hours, a little bit longer than I was planning. When I first just pulled up right now though, I went to the other side of the little tiny creek. I walked up and I saw like three otters and they swam through the tunnel and they came to this side and they went right through my fish traps. So let's hope they didn't, um, you know, tear open the fish traps and steal all the fish. That would suck. Um, not only do I have to worry about turtles, I gotta worry about otters now. Little bit of change of plans. We're gonna check the first two right here, the mesh ones, but I don't think we're gonna be able to check the, the other three today because my fishing rod doesn't have any line on it. <laughs> and that's like literally the only way I could check those traps. So we're gonna go with these two first. We'll be back tomorrow though. So I guess this turned into a 24 hour fish trap for three of them. So wait for a video in the future. We're gonna come back and check those. We're gonna leave them for 24 hours. So maybe we catch something really cool in those, but yeah. Let's check the first two right here. We got a bucket. You guys are on the chest mount now. You're, you're falling with me. I'm doing this because if I fall, I want you guys to experience it with me. Oh my God, something just hit my foot. Wait, what if those otters come and attack me? Oh, I'm so freaking scared right now. Oh my God, give me my trap. Give me my this trap. <gasps> what was that? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. You guys, you freaking guys. Look at this, look at this. Where are you going? Oh my god, that is the most orange crawfish I have ever freaking seen. Oh my god, that thing is so orange. That is not a normal crawfish. He is the same color as my bucket. That is just, I've never seen a crawfish so, so orange. Is that orange or is that red? I was pulling it up, I saw like a flash of orange. Don't pinch me. Oh, don't pinch me. Please don't pinch me. There's no way this is not like, this is not a normal crawfish. No, no freaking way. Dude, that's a lobster. <laughs> this is a freaking lobster, dude. That is not a crawfish. What is that? Are you kidding me? This is not a normal crawfish. There is no way. I've never seen a, a, oh my God. I've never seen a crawfish orange like that. Actually, I've seen little tiny ones. I've seen little tiny ones online, like in videos, like really tiny ones. I get, dude, you can't even see him. He blends in with the freaking bucket, dude. You cannot even see him. Oh wait, I forgot we, <laughs> I forgot we had other fish. Okay guys, I'm sorry. Holy crap, we caught a lot of fish. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I literally was shell shocked. I forgot we actually was doing a fish trap. <laughs> oh, what was that? Now let's see. Wow, look at that. All from one trap. Is that a Jack Dempsey? No, it's a Mayan. We don't want you. Check it, guys. Oh my God, wait. I can't even see the crawfish because he blends in. There he is. There he freaking is. Ow! Ow! Okay, I'm done holding him. I'm done. I'm not holding that thing again. That hurts so bad. Okay, hold on. I'm getting like really sidetracked. I mean, that's so cool though. Oh, look at that jewel. Let's do a little showcase. I don't know what we caught in the fish trap. I literally just dumped everything into the bucket. Look at Mr. Crawfish. Oh, he's attacking everything. That is not nice. Let's see what we got. Okay, two female African cichlids. Nice big uh, male African. That's pretty sick. Now, I don't think anything's gonna live up to that, uh, that orange crawfish we just caught. Look at that, we got a squad of jewel cichlids. Some pretty ones there. Yeah, I don't see anything. I thought I saw a Jack Dempsey, which would have been really cool. But I think that was just the Mayan. Um, yeah. I don't see anything too noteworthy. 
got a got a decent amount of uh of you know pretty africans that's a pretty jewel too um here's what we're gonna do we're gonna dump everything we have in here into my cooler and then we're gonna check the other trap i just realized we've never caught crawfish in here before i don't think so correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think we've ever caught a crawfish in this tiny creek and we do fish traps all the time like all seriously though look at that bro that is like oh my god look at the size of his freaking claws i think this is cooler than the blue one i don't know how rare it is guys you gotta let me know i've never caught one of these or seen one of these before i don't know i need i need some crawfish experts to let me know what we just caught if it's rare or not this is the sickest thing i have ever seen i think honestly like this is one of the coolest things i think i've ever caught <laughs> There we go. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. What? Oh dude, I am so pumped right now. I really want to check like the other traps, dude. This has got me like really excited, but I, I physically cannot get to those traps. I can get to this one. And then I think that... <laughs> Guys. All serious, like I've been trying to keep the energy positive this video, but like, man, today has been rough. Today has been rough. Like, I'm gonna be real with you guys. Like the past three days have been like the hardest days filming wise for YouTube, like I've ever had. I don't, everything has just been going wrong. This is the, the one thing that kind of started to turn it around. Um, for three days, I've been trying to film a video. I couldn't film anything. Didn't catch anything. Just everything was going wrong. I thought it was starting to turn around with that freaking orange crawfish i was like oh finally got a video and i just like really fell i know a lot of you guys worry about me like you know doing this type of stuff you want me to be careful i always get comments like that and i i do i do try to be careful but like there was a rock that i've been stepping on like every time i come here and, and it just gave in right there man that was like the worst fall i've ever had all right show goes on it's the side of side of the videos you guys don't always get to see i mean Sometimes stuff goes really wrong. Sometimes it's a lot harder than it might seem. But that's all right. <sighs> got a lot of fish in there. Oh, we got another crawfish. Look at that one. It's not freaking orange, though. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got in this one. We did get a big crawfish. I saw that straight off the bat. There he is, dead center. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. let go. He's pinching. Yo, he's orange, too. No way no way yo he's like actually kind of orange ow don't pinch me whoa that's, <laughs> he's not like like fully orange he's not that orange but that's like still really orange i never see him that orange whoa oh i'm still shaking from that fall okay that's really cool guys i don't know let me know if those orange crawfish are like normal i don't know i've never seen them i always catch crawfish what else we got? What the heck? What the heck? Where'd the fish go? Oh, I am such an idiot. Oh my God. I just picked up the, the other trap. I was like, where's all the fish? <laughs> oh boy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is such a pretty jewel. Look at that jewel, dude. That is so cool. All right. This one's not that loaded. I think cause this one wasn't in the pipe. We still caught this one crawfish. Yo, he's got one claw too. He was in a fight. He's probably fighting with that really big orange one. Look at that, dude. That's really cool. Guys, we're gonna get everything else in the cooler. Like I said, we have three more traps, dude. Like, this could go on a lot more. We could catch a lot more crazy stuff, but there's actually no, and after that fall, there's no way I'm going to try and shimmy down this canal. I'll just come back tomorrow with a rod and snag them. All right, guys, we got the two crawfish. I kinda wanna like show them side by side. This one, I just noticed, look at his claw, dude. His claw is like, almost fully orange it's got like a lot of orange on it that is so cool what this looks like to me is it looks like this orange one might be a different kind of crawfish and it wait wait this one's got blue on it too yo dude look it's like green and blue i don't know if you guys can tell the tail there's like hints of blue i don't know what's going on this looks like a hybrid of some sort like a normal one mixed with an orange one um, like maybe a normal one mated with like this guy right here and created these guys. Guys, I need some crawfish experts. 
to let me know what is going on. Look at that freaking crawfish, dude. Oh, that is so cool. That, you know what? The fall was all worth it because of this thing right here. There you go, guys. And the rest of the fish we're gonna keep as bait to feed our pet fish. What is up, BFP Nation? <laughs> You're wearing my shirt. Today was a crazy day. Look, look at my leg. Look, it's turning blue. It, it was trapped under two giant rocks. It was pretty crazy, bro. I could have died. I didn't, I haven't shown Brandon yet. Watch this. <gasps> what? <laughs> Dude, look at that. Oh my gosh. Have we ever caught a That's orange Larry. carpet? That's Larry. Dude, this is Larry the lobster. This is, it looks like a lobster, bro. Like, I'm dead serious. This is not a crawfish. This is a lobster right here. Look how big his pinchers, bro. That is a straight lobster. Is that ocean? No, it's, I mean, it's it's a crawfish, but it's like, I've never seen one. Is that dinner? This is dinner. We should cook, we should cook this boy up. Look at that. Bro, he blends in perfectly. You can't even see him. That is, is crazy. Is <laughs> Another one that's like sort of orange. Look at this. Ah! Look at this. Look at the, the orange claw. Ah! <laughs> if, if things couldn't get any worse. All right, he took a little fall, just like me. I took a fall trying to get him. Wait, that's kind of weird, isn't it? I mm -hmm. literally fell trying to get the fish trap that he was in, and now he just fell. Look at the claws, though. He's like kind of orange. That's like really weird. All right, we're gonna get these guys in a tank. Look, look at all the fish we got. This is like, this is Bane food for the next week. All right, let's head inside, get these guys in the tank. Congratulations. Subscribe. I kind of want to put the orange one into my beautiful cichlid tank because I feel like he would look so sick in here. All right, one last look. Orange crawfish. Oh, oh my God, dude. Get close. Bro, that's a straight lobster. That looks fake. It looks fake, does it not? Oh, the fish are checking it out. Real. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> Yo, guys, comment a name for this. Comment a name for the crawfish Larry right now. The no, no. We already have Larry. He's the blue one. Oh my god, look, he's going in his home already. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so sick. Should I put the other one in here? Yeah. Why not? He's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure they're both males, so they, they could fight, but this is like a big enough tank, lots of hiding spots. Oh! Lots of hiding spots. They should have their own oh. turf. Oh my god, they're getting they're they're fighting oh with them already. <laughs> they don't like that one. He, he, they're not. Oh my god, look at this. There he is. Yeah. So they they have enough of their own little caves. They shouldn't fight or have territorial problems. Um, yo, I guess we gotta go back and search for more of these orange ones. I guess like females maybe. <laughs> Start breeding them. This is gonna be really cool though. Like at night, he's gonna come out that orange one. Dude, he looks sick in here. Give you guys a little update on the blue crawfish since I guess today's a crawfish video. Here's one of them. I don't know which one is which. We got two in here. Here's the other one. What's up, buddy? And there's the female that they have bred with. Anyways, guys, that'll do it for today's video. Um, we also have three traps. Oh, by the way, Brandon, What's basically up? what I did today, because you weren't there, I took five of my fish traps, threw them into the canal, and there's oh three still there because I, there's no line to, to get them, so they're like stuck there. Oh my. We gotta like go swimming to get them tomorrow. I kind of forgot to t tell you that. Oh my You wanna God. go swimming? I already went swimming in there. It's, it's, it's nice. Ah. It's pretty nice. Brandon's gonna go swimming for the other three traps tomorrow. That'll be a separate video. Uh, maybe we catch some more cool crawfish. But uh, yeah, guys, if you did enjoy the video, go down there, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.